I recently made a Twitter bot that lets you play Wordle on Twitter. If you haven't heard of Wordle, it's a popular word game that's all over social media lately, and you play by trying to guess a 5 letter word in 6 tries or less. Now, there are already hundreds of Wordle clones out there, but I wanted to make one that lets you play on Twitter rather than having to copy and paste your Wordle score on there. The first step was getting a list of words that the bot can use to choose solutions and check guesses. Apparently, the developer of Wordle was pretty lazy because the list of words can easily be found when inspecting the source code, one for the solutions and one for the guesses. In fact, the list of solutions are in the order they appear daily, so the solutions are always known beforehand. I copied these lists and started working on a script to try the game on the command line first. It starts by randomly choosing a word as a solution and then continuously accepts player guesses as input. For each guess, it compares its letters to the solution and prints out the letters with a highlighted color. Finally, it exits the game if the player guesses the solution or runs out of tries. I also define different messages to the player based on how many guesses they took to find the solution or a failure message if they guess an invalid word or run out of tries. It was finally time to test the script, so I played a few rounds of the game. The script was working fine, but there was a problem. Twitter didn't have colored text or highlighting, so I wouldn't be able to tweak the text with color. Instead, I have to programmatically generate an image that displays the guesses and tweet the image. To do this, I found a Python imaging library. Using this library, I create a blank image and draw a colored square for each letter, writing the letter on the square. It does the same for all the guesses and draws blank squares at the end for the remaining unused guesses. Once I had the image generation working, it was time to create the bot, so I made a new Twitter account and gave it a nice profile. To programmatically tweet with my script, I signed up to the Twitter developer program in order to access the API. Using the API, I'm going to retrieve tweets mentioning and replying to the bot and then tweet responses back to the players. I then updated my script and imported the Tweepy library to interact with the API, setting up the client using my authentication keys. Next, I wrote a function to read all recent tweets mentioning or replying to the bot and a function to tweet different responses. Once the bot retrieves all of its tweets, it generates a response based on the contents. If the tweet contains the keyword new game, it starts a new game session and chooses a random solution, replying with a tweet to start the game. The bot also stores data to keep track of each game session, such as the user ID, solution, player's guesses, and so on in a JSON file. If the tweet contains a player guess, it checks if the word is valid and replies accordingly. If the guess is valid, it generates an image and replies to the tweet, updating the session data with the new guess. At the end, it tweets out a message based on how many guesses the player took to get to the solution. I then played a game with the bot, and this is how it turned out. The bot was working fine, but I realized it was hard to keep track of which letters were already used. The actual game had a keyboard at the bottom of the screen for this, so I decided to add this in as well. I wrote another function that loops through all the letters and draws them with the appropriate colors at the bottom of the image, and this is how it looked. In order to not have the bot running on my computer 24-7, I chose to deploy it using AWS Lambda functions, since they have a free tier up to 1 million requests, which is more than enough for my case. So I created a new Lambda function for the bot and uploaded my code. I had to make a few changes to the code before deploying, such as storing the game session's JSON file in AWS S3 instead of locally. I then scheduled it to run every 2 minutes and created an S3 bucket to store the game session's JSON file. And with that, the bot was finally done and now anyone can play Wordle on Twitter without a daily limit. A few people have played it so far and it seems to be working fine. The bot does get lonely sometimes, so if you want to try it out, you can tag its Twitter handle with new game to play Wordle on Twitter. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.